Maybe it's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. Alright, now in today's video, hey yo, what it do? It's your boy Prophet Lou, and you are just in time for something new. Say it with me, J. Lou. Man, what are you doing? Ah! Man, don't mind that little dude, you know what I'm saying? He over here trying to crap my style. It ain't Prophet Lou, it's your boy J. Lou. Oh. <sighs> You think you can get rid of me that easy? Aren't you gonna make a video in regards to how you wear your durags, the reason why you wear them that way? I'm gonna make the video. Well, come on, man. What you waiting on? The people waiting. All right, man. I got you, fam. I'm gonna make the video right now. That's what this video is gonna be. All right. All right, then. All right, man. I'll see you later. Now, when it comes to wearing durags, a lot of people typically watch my videos and they always say, Man, why you rock your durag? You look like a, the Prince of Saudi or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look like you're Arabian. What? To be honest with you guys, this is just my style. At the end of the day, everybody has their own style when it comes to doing what they do. And when it comes to my durags, this is how I rock them. Now, the main reason why I rock my durags like this is because over the years, like I've been telling you guys, I've experimented with different ways of being able to rock durags. And I've had so many durags over the years to be able to test and try out. And I was like, you know what? I am sick and tired of having this stupid durag line come on top of my head. See, the only times I've ever had durag lines on my head was because I was experimenting with different durags, testing them out to be able to give you guys reviews and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the reason why I rock my durags, the number one reason is simply because it does not give me a line across my forehead. As you can see, I typically rock the monsoon caps, the compression caps. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description of this one right here. This bad boy is called the big old drip, you know what I'm saying? To me, I feel like it's Houston inspired, you know? with the Just In Time logo and all that stuff like that. Like when you look at the design, the concept, it just looked like just some lean, you know what I'm saying? So that Houston flag is all over this monsoon cap. But as you can see, this band right here, uh, the, the thickness of it, whenever you put it on your head, because it's spaced out, it's not gonna cause that line, it's gonna distribute the pressure across your forehead. And in my personal opinion, like I tell you guys all the time, because I'm rocking a compression cap on top of a do-rag, I honestly don't have to tie my do-rag. A lot of people tend to think that do-rags are made for ways specifically when, to be honest, that's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? Do-rags are made for several different purposes. I'll make sure I make a video in the future in regards to the reason why do-rags were made. And honestly, they were not originally called do-rags. But to get back on topic, whenever it comes to me rocking my do-rag like this, is mainly because I only I only look for one layer of compression on my waist. Some people try to assume that this is two uh, forms of compression when it's really not. Because if I don't tie my do-rag, it's not gonna give me any kind of compression. And the main reason why I don't tie it is because I have the compression cap giving me the compression that I need all around my head. Now, if I rock this do-rag by itself, it would not compress my crown, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't compress all the areas of my head and like I already mentioned, do-rags don't really give great compression. They give some compression, but the compression that they give comes from you tying it and pulling it back and everything like that. And it typically digs in on the sides. But if you notice, whenever you have a do-rag on, it's not really compressing the top portion of your hair unless you pull it all the way down. And honestly, that's what leads to a lot of the lines because you either got to tie really, really tight. So for me, I just take that out of the equation. Because I don't tie the do-rag, not only will I not get a line from the do-rag itself, because most people, for whatever reason, uh, untie their do-rag strings, they have to tie them up every single time. And because of that variation, you can tie it either too tight one day and end up with a do-rag line on, or you can tie it too loose, it'll fall off at night or whatever the case is. But the reason why I rock it like this is because the compression cap will not come off my head. Now, you do have to find the right combo because all do-rags and all compression caps the combos are not always great. Now, what will happen with some compression caps when they come in contact with a satin do-rag, a silky looking do-rag like this or whatever, if you don't have the right material, they'll just slide right off. And that's mainly due to friction, you know what I'm saying? If you have two smooth materials rubbing against each other, the friction, the, the frictional resistance is not that strong. So therefore it's easier whenever you land on your pillow, especially if you sleep bad at night, the, uh, the compression cap is gonna slide right off your head, you know what I'm saying? 
But at the same time, if you find that right combo, the reason why I like these bad boys is because I can pull them all the way down basically to my eyebrows just like this and a lot of people they, that's what they typically say oh man you look like a saudi prince but at the end of the day what this allows the, the compression cap to be able to do is it be it grips my forehead and at the same time most people on the back of their head they have the curvature i can't remember what it's called so because the compression cap i put it underneath that curvature part of my skull what happens is it's like it's hugging my head like that and because it's only the compression cap is not too tight on my head I don't wake up with headaches. I don't wake up with do-rag lines. And another reason why I love this combo is mainly because what it does is it's kind of like creating heat on your head. Now, most of you guys already know, whenever it comes to your body releasing heat, what it does is I believe 80% of it goes through your head, you know? But whenever you have a do-rag on, that's one layer of material that will kind of capture some of that heat in. But by adding a compression cap on top, what you're simply doing is adding a second layer of material that's gonna provide better insulation. So whenever you're sleeping or, or whatever the case is, the products that you have in your head will kind of like warm up or whatever. And whenever you take the compression cap as well as the do-rag off, your waves will look shiny. You know what I'm saying? It'll give you that kitted look that a lot of people typically claim. Which is my natural hair. I have been growing it since birth. Well shit, what kind of chemical you got in there? When at the end of the day, I've allowed whatever products I put into my hair to be able to absorb into my hair. And at the same time, as soon as I take my do-rag and everything off, it just looks amazing and shiny because the do-rag itself has the satin material and your hair typically tries to mimic whatever it comes in contact with. Because I'm a low porosity waiver, that just simply means that it's harder for products to get into my hair. But while I'm sleeping overnight, because of that heat and everything, it allows the products to get into my hair and make my hair healthier, you know what I'm saying? So that's one reason why as soon as you take your do-rag off, your waves look the healthiest as possible. But once you go outside and once you start interacting with the atmosphere, what typically happens is humidity comes into a factor. Y'all already know I stay in ace time. It's hella hot during the summer times. So as soon as you walk outside, if you don't have the, the products in your hair to help keep your hair laid down and everything like that, your hair is going to frizz. You're going to start sweating and everything. When it comes to my ways, I'm not trying to get on camera and show you that I always have perfect ways because nobody always has perfect waves. If you come down in Houston, Texas during the summertime, your waves is not going to be looking laid and Instagram famous and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But just to get back to the point is I'm a waver with curly hair. And if you have either coily all the way up to wavy hair, what you may notice is if you have a, a compression cap and you try to take it off, it's going to pull your hair up. But if you are more so on the kinkier side, you probably won't run into that issue. So for me, I have to put a do-rag on because the do-rag allows me to have that peel off effect. The compression cap is going to snag some of my hair if I'm trying to pull it off. But the do-rag allows me just to simply peel it back. I could either take it off just like this by taking the compression cap off like that. And as you guys can see, just in the little time that I've been wearing the, the stocking cap, it's somewhat stuck to my head, as you can see, on this portion right here because of the heat and that it generated, you know what I'm saying? And if I wanted to, I can just simply peel it off like this and it allows my waves to be able to stay laid down because it's not pulling my hair off like the way a compression cap would do, right? But at the same time, by putting the compression cap on just like this, what I also love about rocking this combo is, I honestly don't have to take either one of them off separately. I can basically just take my do-rag off just like this and just peel it off just like that, man. And a lot of times, when it comes to my waves, a lot of people always say, Bro, you barely show your waves in your videos, blah, 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 blah. I don't always have to show my waves on video. That's what IG is for, you know what I'm saying? If you want to see my ways, all you got to do is go to my IG. But at the end of the day, just to show you guys what I'm talking about, just take a look at my hair right quick. You see how laid my hair looks from the, just, just wearing a compression cap? I've only been wearing it for about 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It gives that kitted look on my, on my ways and everything like that. It makes my hair look hella shiny because I already have products in my hair. You know what I'm saying? being said the last and final reason why i like rocking my do-rag and my compression cap that way is mainly because i don't have to worry about tying it i don't have to worry about a stupid do-rag line it helps products get sealed into my hair and locked in it makes my waves look a lot healthier than what they are because as a low porosity waiver sometimes when you put products in your hair if you don't find the proper balance of, of products to place into your hair sometimes you can have products that'll that'll lay on top of your head and what i've noticed is 
one of the secrets of, of me being able to lock in moisture over several days is simply because if I put too much product in my hair, because you're brushing every single day, you're going to try to brush some of the product out and everything like that. But I don't have to put product in my hair every single day because once I put the do-rag on, the heat is going to build up on my head and everything. And my hair will try to absorb more product in. So whenever I'm on rag in the morning, over time, my waves look better over the week. That's one reason why when it comes to bouncing back, my waves look a lot better the second day on out after washing my hair. You know what I'm saying? Typically after a wash, if you don't get your hair in a, in a healthy state, you know what I'm saying? By restoring the pH balance levels and all that different stuff like that, it'll be harder for your hair to bounce back. That's one reason why porosity plays a factor because it allows you to be able to determine what nutrients that you should put in your hair first to be able to restore your hair to a healthy state. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I addressed everything in regards to the reasons why I rock my do-rags this way. As you can see by me taking it off, I don't have no red lines on my forehead. I don't get any bumps on my forehead, anything like by rocking it this way. So with that being said, for me, this is the best way that I rock my do-rags. Now a lot of people may say, oh man, I'm not about to go outside looking like that and everything like that. The last little tip that I give you guys is if you put the do-rag on top of your head just like this right i typically pull it down somewhere in the middle part portion of my head i'll take the compression cap just like this put it on top and as you can see when i put it on top it pulls the do-rag down a little bit more so that's the reason why you want to put it midway now if you're one of those people where you like man i don't want to walk around looking like this all you have to do is simply take the do-rag just like this put it up like you're going to regularly tie it and like I tell you guys all the time, when it comes to my do-rags, I leave the strings tied up because I don't have time to be tying these do-rags up every single day. I'm simply just going around my head just like this. I'm gonna put it around like that. As you can see, it's very loose because I don't need the do-rag strings tight because I already have that form of compression from the compression cap, you know what I'm saying? And then all I do is simply unfold the strings just like this. And if you want to, in order to pull it down, just because sometimes what it'll do is it'll ride up, you simply grab the compression cap and the do-rag together by like, just like that, and then just simply pull it down just like that. And then you just space the, 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 the strings out. And if you wanted to, you can just simply take the cape in the back and tie it up just like this or whatever the case is, and then go outside and go on about your merry way. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, this your boy J. Lou. This is the reason why I rock my do-rags that way. As you can see, just by putting the do-rag on my head just a little bit, it's snacked to my head, and it just makes my waves look a lot healthier. You know what I'm saying? So whenever I unrag, you can see that my hair is looking very dark, it's looking very healthy and things of that nature. And these are just some of the small tips. So with that being said, it's your boy J. Lou. Hope y'all have a great day. Salute! After my first year in college, I was told I wouldn't make it. Fell so bad, my scholarships, they tried to take it. Yeah. Friends to my foes, yep, all I heard them say. How in the world did you get a 1.6 GPA? You should consider dropping out or at least switch your major. The odds of graduating now are not in your favor.